Hello and welcome back to another That Woodworking video. Today we're going to be making an oak antipasti. An antipasti is a table platter, it's like a shelf and you can put food on top so your table effectively bigger. The first thing I'm going to do is paint up this edge of the oak. This was taking a while because I needed to plane away quite a lot so eventually I changed over to a power planer. Okay, so this is how I measure if this oak is the two sides are parallel. I get this adjustable square. I set it so it's the same distance here, so it's flush. And I run it along to the other end and see if that's the same, which is about a mil out, two mil out maybe. So. That's uh, that's, okay. that's not not a real problem for me, um, because um, I'm not using anything to correspond to with the um, with the cross, so um, it should be okay. As I had a power plane out, I tried to plane away the saw marks from the oak, but that just made the situation worse. So I had to spend more time with smoothing plane planing the marks out of the power plane that I was using, so that was a bit of a dumb move. I then had to spend a lot of the time sanding with 120 grit paper. I then squared off the ends with a tenon saw. It's not the right saw, but it's the sharp saw I have. Right, here it is. Plain, sanded and square. Now we're gonna make the feet for it. So I've made one leg already, now it's time for three more. I've built it enough so I can show you what an antipasta is. Like I said, it was a shelf that went on your table so you can have more room for your table. Whereas before you could only put these three plates down in the centre of a table with still seating five or six people, now you can have other stuff on top. You can have dips and chips and anything like that on the top and your bigger portions of stuff on the bottom. So now it's time to use dowels to attach these to the oak shelf. And for that I'm gonna use a dowel jig. And in this dowel jig you get this drill bit which I give you, which is eight millimeter, and these eight millimeter transfer pins. Transfer the marks so you get exactly lined up dowels. So the transfer pins are in, so I just need to make sure it's lined up. I'm going to use two hands for this. So I push down, you can just see the mark there. It's quite hard oak, so it doesn't go in that deep. But then that will give just enough so the drill bit can be guided in. So I'm going to try it now. And they seem to be quite clean holes. So let's test the fit. As you can see here, it was a perfect fit. Now it's time to put on some rope handles. I've cut this bit of rope to the length I want and I've taped up the end of the bit of sellotape. And I need to drill a couple of holes in the end grain so I can mount it and epoxy it. And uh, I'm gonna put a couple of nails in because uh, it goes with the rustic look I'm going for. Now 
Now all that's left is to rub in some olive oil or vegetable oil so you can put your food directly on it if you need to. So that's the end of the video. Hope you have fun making your own anti-pasta if you do choose so. Thank you and goodbye.